Last year, the pharmaceutical industry spent $250 million on lobbying and campaign contributions and employs some 1,400 lobbyists. You cannot get through the day without being inundated with drug ads. We've seen scandal after scandal in the pharmaceutical companies with drugs and astronomical prices. I could walk into a drugstore and they could tell me the medicine I use, the price has doubled because we have no regulations. The FDA is a rogue agency. They, they, they have no oversight. The problem is that a lot of people have vested interests. You can sell molecules. You can sell molecules and drugs. I think of the biochemical paradigm as something which has to be moved aside to something which is more field-driven, more electromagnetic, more connected to the real physics which describes nature. A lot of the uh, communication systems in the body are electrical. There are chemical messengers involved, but it's an electrical signal that just basically goes through the nervous system. The use of electromagnetism in the past century was quackery. What we're seeing in the 21st century is uh, some much more robust data. By tuning to various ions and using very low energy magnetic fields, you see these wonderful effects whereby an 80-year-old's blood is basically taught to be more responsive. The same modulation frequencies were found over and over in patients with the same type of tumor. Only tumor cells that are exposed to corresponding tumor-specific frequencies seem to be affected in, in, their, in their growth while there is no impact on uh, normal cells. We put a very high bar there. We said 50% improvement. We achieved it. There's no drug study in anxiety that even comes close to that. We use a very small amount of electricity, microcurrent, uh, which is millionths of an amp. And we use that in the brain to treat anxiety, insomnia, and depression. And we can also use the same current, the same waveform on the body to treat pain peripherally. 